that using your cell phone or computer is quick and easy for sending messages, but sometimes occasions call for a good old-fashioned note in the mail. Lori Green knows a thing or two about the finer things in life. She's the owner of Elizabeth Richards Gifts in Waterbury and has declared 2013 the year of the card. I think I like the sound of that. Yeah, you know, Teresa, I just got uh, tired of getting all these electronic greetings all the time. You they're know, not you very get, personal, right? No, they're not. And, you know, you get the happy birthdays on Facebook, and I love those, but I really, I miss getting a, a card in the mail. So I decided that this was going to be the year that I really made an effort myself personally to mm -hmm. send people cards and hopefully inspire them to send cards too. That makes a big difference. Now, before we get to the stationery, Lori, tell me about your fabulous shop in Waterbury. Oh, we've got a great gift store. Um, it's about 4,500 square feet, so we're chock full of um, gifts, everything from baby gifts to china and crystal, ladies' accessories, jewelry, all kinds of great stuff. It really is a perfect stop to uh, find a gift for anybody. It is, and we try to make sure that there's something in there for everybody. All right. Um, well, let's talk about thank you notes right off the bat. Thank you notes are so important, um, and you really should send a thank you note, just, not just when, you're get it, um, when you get a gift from somebody, but you should also send a thank you note out when somebody does something special for you, when they go above and beyond, mm -hmm. um, when you stay at someone's house overnight, if you've been asked over for dinner, um, all, all those types of occasions. Whenever you feel the need to say thank you, it, it's always the right time to take out pen and put uh -huh. it to paper. And what are we including in that note? Uh, we typically. are. We're including our heartfelt thank you, mm -hmm. something warm. Um, tell them why you enjoyed what it was that they did or what you received, what you might do with them, something that you received, and <clears throat> also expressing the fact that you're looking forward to seeing them again or interacting with them again. Great. Now it's a little bit different, though. Uh, we were talking about wedding thank yous. You yes. have a longer time frame typically than a normal thing. You, you definitely do because you know you're, there's so much going on after uh, before and after you get married. So typically, when you receive a gift, um, just say a birthday gift or a Christmas gift, you have about two weeks when you're supposed to respond and say thank you. When you get a wedding or shower gift, you have up to a year to respond. Although I don't recommend it, I think you should. You should <laughs> so really, no excuse, right? Get it no, done. Get it done. And you know, I, I remember when I was a bride. I think it took me about four or five months to get them out. So it did take a while, and mm -hmm. that's understandable. But definitely don't uh, don't put it off too long, and definitely get it done. And make a point of recognizing what you got for a gift. When you say, I, I can't stand the generic ones. <laughs> no, no, and uh, yeah, definitely write down. You know, thank you for the vase, sure. or thank you for that beautiful scarf. Definitely. All right. Well, let's talk about what you brought here because this is just lovely. Well, I just brought some uh, different types of thank you notes um, and, and note cards um, because you don't have to necessarily have a card, for instance, that says thank you on it. You can get yourself a nice set of box notes, something that reflects who you are. Say uh, your, your gardener, you know, get something with a very nice flower on it if you're uh, into the sea theme things. Or, you know, go with the old standby, the initial notes. Um, we've had a lot of people ask, should I get the initial for the first name? Should I get it for the last name? And Teresa, I say, whatever floats your boat. Doesn't really matter, huh? No, it doesn't really matter. So first or last, just get the box of cards. Okay. Um, you can also think about getting some personalized stationery. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some great options for personalized stationery, not just at the store, but online you can get them too. Mm -hmm. We would love it if you came in, but um, go and take a look. Get something with your name. They've got some different styles. Here's something that uh, they refer to as a fold-over note, and then I've got a flat note next to it, otherwise known as a correspondence card. Correspondence card you want to use um, for just quick little informal notes. Mm -hmm. A fold-over note is something a little more formal, such as a thank you note. Oh. Oh, very good. And I love how the envelopes have a little bit of color in them also. Yeah, I like that too. It gives it a little extra. <laughs> it makes okay. the recipient remember you. Sure. And this looks like a fun item over here. Yeah, this is a great item, and it's something that you can get for yourself or get as a gift. It is a stamp that you can have personalized with your name and your address. So that way, when you're writing out your note, instead of having to do your return address, you can just stamp away, and you're all set, and you're ready to go. I also suggest that you get yourself a cute little box okay. and put all of your thank you note supplies in it. Um, put your box of note cards, some pens, some stamps, get everything all set and ready. And then when you have to send out a note for whatever reason, you're, you're ready to go. There you go. You can also think about stockpiling some, some greeting cards, too. Get a couple of birthday cards or, or good luck cards, thank you notes, um, even sympathy cards, unfortunately. That's true. But if you have them at your fingertips, you're more likely to send them out. And you really have such a great variety in the store. We Sparkly do. ones, you have elaborate ones. It's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, pick out your card with a, um, a little bit of... Um, time and make sure that your card reflects who you are. Sure. All right, Lori, I know you have a special offer for our Connecticut Style viewers. We do. I want you to come in and I want you to start writing some notes to people. Good. So um, <laughs> through March 16th, 
I'm going to say that 25% off of any stationary purchase when you mention Connecticut Style. I like that. Motivation there. Absolutely. You make it so easy, Lori. It is. It's very simple. <laughs> All right. You can check out Elizabeth Richard Gifts located right off exit 17 off I-84 on the Waterbury Middlebury line. You can call 203-754-GIFT. That's 4438. You could also follow Elizabeth Richard Gifts on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much, Lori. For